Cabbage is something that many of us think of as summer and outside, but we usually think of it in terms of slaw, partly because we don't want to heat up the house and partly because many people don't really like the taste of it when it's cooked. What I'm going to do today is I'm not going to solve the, the, I don't like it when it's cooked problem, but it will solve the heat in the house problem because we're going to do it on the grill. Now basically we're going to end up with the same kind of thing that you, you have when you cook it inside, but you're not going to heat the house. And the other thing that offends some people is the strong odor that can develop with cabbage as it cooks. So I'm taking a nice head of cabbage and make sure that you wash it well. We have had cases of salmonella because people have not washed cabbage before it's used. It grows in the dirt with uh, some kinds of fertilizers which uh, can be organic and uh, other things that may incorporate E. coli for instance uh, into the, the soil around it and as a result you can have some problems that can come from that. So make sure you wash it well and uh, then start trimming it down just as you would to, to make a slaw. What I'm going to do here is cut it into first into quarters and then we're going to take out the core and then I'm going to cut each of those quarters into halves again so you end up with eights and this is the, the basically the easiest way to get the core out uh, and then simply cut it again. Now, in order to get ready for this, I need to make a space over here. I'm going to cook it in foil. And you have a couple of choices here. You can get one of these uh, ready-to-cook bags that are all ready to go. You just put the food in there and then fold them down. They work fine. They're a little bit more expensive, but uh, they do keep the food in there. So if you have problem folding things down, that might be the way to go. What I'm using here is the heavy-duty aluminum foil. And I'm spraying it with some vegetable spray simply because I want to make sure that it doesn't stick. And the part that's down closest to... Uh, the heating element is going to get a little bit browner as it would in a, in a range. And then I'm going to layer them on here or set them on here in such a way that uh, they're, they're fairly even. Now I'm going to go this way because when I fold it over there's going to be less on these sides. So I'm heading it that direction. The next thing we're going to do is add some seasoning to this. Now you have a, a, an option here if you'll notice, these cloves of garlic are huge, and the original recipe called for one to two cloves of garlic. Well, that would be in this. But if you like garlic, feel free to add more or, or as much as you would like. I'm going to cut these in half, though, so we can spread them around. And this will basically be equivalent to about four cloves of garlic. And as I said, if you like a lot of garlic, feel free to add a lot more. The next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Now, if you're worried about the salt content of your diet, you can, can cut that down. I've got about a half a teaspoon of both that I'm adding in here. But notice that I'm adding part of it before I have the rest of the cabbage cut. And the reason is that if I wait until all the cabbage is layered on there, then all the, all the pepper is going to be on the top. And since it, it doesn't melt in the way the salt will, uh, that's basically the only place that you're going to get a lot of flavor from it. I'm also going to sprinkle a little bit of salt on at this point for that same reason. And we're going to cut this last piece of cabbage. It's best if you lay that cabbage so that the flat side is down and then it's, not, it's going to be more stable, less apt to roll around on you, uh, and you're going to be able to, to keep track of it without risking cutting yourself as much or as easily. Make this last cut on this one. Put it over here as well and cut out the last bit of core on this last piece. Now cabbage is one of those foods that's considered almost a superfood because of the, primarily because of the antioxidant content. There's a lot of vitamin C in here and some sulfur containing uh, compounds that give a lot of antioxidant activity that can decrease your risk of cancer. The problem is that when you cook things like cabbage or other cruciferous vegetables, a lot of that is lost. So if you like just like other foods, you need to eat a lot of variety in the way, not only in the foods that you eat, but in the way that you prepare them as well. That's probably enough salt on there. Now, another thing that you can add, again, depending on your choice, I'm going to throw in some caraway seeds. You could put in a little bit of dill, and this is, is your choice. If you like it, fine. If not, that works too. Simply a matter at this point of folding it together and folding it down fairly snugly. We're going to put it on the grill, and this works great if you're already going to be cooking something else on the grill. A lot of times we go out and we cook the meat on the grill, but we don't use the rest of the heat that's coming off it. So this can go back in the side, back in a corner, and depending on how well you like it done, it can be anywhere from 20 minutes up to 40 minutes. Remember, though, that the longer it cooks, the more pronounced the flavors are going to become, and the stronger it's going to be, and 
also the more nutrients you're going to lose. Now one of the nice things about doing it this way, since you're not doing it in water, most of the, the nutrients, other than those that are heat sensitive and are destroyed simply by the heat, are going to be kept in the vegetable. But because it's closed down, all the, the flavors are going to be as well. Now this does have the advantage of being able to keep the, the smells and the heat outside the house when you're cooking it, but keep in mind that if you take it inside to eat it, when you open it up, those smells will spread out through your house at that point. I had that experience this morning when I, when I did a trial run on here. This one's been on for a while, not quite as long as uh, I would like it to be, but we'll go ahead and see how it looks at this point. Take it off the grill. You don't have to close the grill down so that if you have a grill that doesn't have a lid, this works very well because the foil actually is keeping all the moisture around and letting it cook that way. And as I said, this one probably won't be as done as I would like it because it's only been on about 15 minutes and it could use a little bit more time. But you can see that it's beginning to get some of the moisture around it. Uh, the flavorings are throughout and oh, the smell is terrific. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry you can't smell this one, but it's really a, a nice flavorful smell uh, that comes out with it. It's a quick way to cook cabbage outside gives you more variety, particularly if you're looking at something like bratwurst or other traditional German sausages. Cabbage goes so well with that, and this is a nice way to do it outside while the other things are cooking out there. For Oklahoma Gardening, this is Barbara Brown.